what we are going to show today is how we have installed connected head unit inside a car this is done for an automotive program welcome to this demo of the excel 4 application and connected infotainment platform this prototype system was designed and developed by excel 4 for one of the top three automotive manufacturers in japan and it has been deployed in vehicles this is our touchscreen display unit let's look at the main application screen you see various applications installed core applications are pre-installed and there are also user installed applications that can be managed via our web-based application store let's try the the ATM finder is a user installed application for finding ATMs uh, local to your current position there's also the core let's try the core music app And now why don't we go to our web-based application store. Here you'll notice there are two user-installed apps currently installed on the device. The top one, the ATM Finder, we showed you previously, and we can delete that. And on the next device update, the ATM Finder app will be gone. Why don't we also take a look at the other available apps to install. And down at the bottom we have the XL4 streaming internet radio player. Why don't we install that? And again on the next device update you'll find the XL4 streaming radio player. You'll notice now the ATM finder has been uninstalled. And the XL4 streaming radio player is now available if you want to try that. And why don't we also go back to the main applications window and try the Google Maps app. That will show our current location of this device. Let's also take a look at our mobile-based application for tracking these devices in cars. If we launch the car finder, we'll get a list of the devices that we know about. And if we click on the Excel 4 Fremont car that we're currently sitting in, we'll see once again that we are located here in our park, company parking lot. If we go back, we have another device currently deployed in Las Vegas. And it finds that vehicle and gives us directions on how to get to it. So this concludes this demo of the Excel 4 application and connected infotainment platform. This whole setup ergonomically is mounted using a gooseneck so that it is easily be available for the driver or the passenger to work on the screen. And of course we also provide a nice feature to reduce the intensity of this screen for nighttime driving device and the device's position is flickering on the screen it's flashing on the screen and this allows um, to position this device and it is available anywhere so this information is also sent back to the web where the whole information about this car's location is available at any time during its functioning operation. So here we go and start the CAN tester. So you can see the odometer reading it's saying 10,0483. Tachometer is saying that it's running at uh, 612 RPM. The fuel gauge is at 482. Fuel consumption at 24.2 miles per gallon. Right now the brakes are saying false because I have not applied the brakes. As soon as I apply the brake, it says the brakes are true. I can. Um, 
done the high beams on. And it now says the high beam, low beam, high beam, and the uh, is true. If I shut it off, it says high beams are off. And then I have turned everything all. The, it says the low beam. So I have turned on the lights, turn off the lights, and it shows immediately the action. The Spear 1340 is installed as a black enclosed metal box right under the seat and the connectivity goes to the front where the device is powered through the cigarette lighter. All in all, it's a fairly well-featured system.